Welcome to the News Hub, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Stepping onto the MC-21, you immediately sense something different. The aisle is wider, making boarding less of a squeeze. You're not bumping into other passengers or struggling to let someone pass. The cabin feels open, not cramped. Then you notice the windows, much larger than usual, flooding the space with natural light. The view outside is expansive, connecting you to the journey in a way most jets don't. Overhead bins are huge, easily swallowing carry-ons, wheels first. No more wrestling for space or frantic shuffling. The seat feels roomier, thanks to the MC-21's wider fuselage. Even in economy, those extra inches make a real difference. Before takeoff, you already feel more comfortable and less stressed. The MC-21's design is a quiet promise, this flight will be a step above the usual. It's a new standard for what a narrow-body jet can be. Why did Russia decide to build the MC-21 from the ground up instead of simply updating older designs or relying on foreign technology? The answer is a mix of national pride, urgent necessity, and a vision for the future of Russian aviation. For decades, Boeing and Airbus have dominated the global skies, setting the standard for commercial air travel, while Russia's once mighty fleet gradually fell behind. Planes like the Tu-154, once symbols of Soviet engineering, became outdated and inefficient, unable to compete with modern Western jets in terms of safety, comfort, or fuel economy. Russia urgently needed a new modern flagship aircraft to compete on the world stage and breathe new life into its aviation industry, which had been struggling for relevance. The MC-21 was designed from the outset to directly challenge the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, the backbone of global aviation, flown by airlines everywhere. Building the MC-21 domestically means keeping billions of dollars circulating within Russia, supporting local industries, and creating thousands of high-tech jobs for a new generation of engineers and workers. But the MC-21 is more than just a new airplane. It's a symbol of national renewal, technological ambition, and the determination to reclaim a place among the world's aviation leaders. Russia wanted to show the world, and itself, that it could still innovate design and build world-class aircraft, using advanced materials and cutting-edge technology. The goal wasn't just to match the competition, but to surpass it in key areas like efficiency, passenger comfort, and operational costs. The dream was to see the MC-21 flying in major cities around the world, carrying passengers on international routes, and restoring Russia's reputation in aviation. Building the MC-21 is a bold move, a statement that Russia is ready to reclaim its place in global aviation and shape the future of flight. At first glance, the MC-21 looks like any modern jet, blending in with the sleek lines and polished surfaces you'd expect from today's airliners. But beneath its familiar exterior, there's a story of innovation and ambition that sets it apart from the crowd. Its true differences are found in the details, subtle, but game-changing advances that push the boundaries of commercial aviation. For example, the MC-21's wings are crafted from advanced carbon fiber composites. These materials are not only lighter and stronger than traditional aluminum, but also more resistant to corrosion and fatigue, promising a longer lifespan and lower maintenance costs. This innovative Blackwing design isn't just for show. It significantly boosts aerodynamics, helping the jet slice through the air more efficiently and burn less fuel on every flight. Another standout feature is the MC-21's wider fuselage. Compared to the Boeing 737, it offers a noticeably more spacious cabin, giving airlines the flexibility to create a more comfortable environment for passengers. This extra width means a wider aisle, making it easier for passengers and crew to move about, and allows for the option of wider seats, comfort you can actually feel during your journey. Large panoramic windows flood the cabin with natural light, while roomy overhead bins ensure there's space for everyone's carry-on. These touches add to the sense of openness and relaxation on board. Even the air circulation and cabin pressure systems are state-of-the-art, designed to keep passengers feeling refreshed and reduce fatigue, even on longer flights. The MC-21's designers listen closely to real passenger feedback, focusing on solving everyday complaints, like cramped seating and stuffy cabins, instead of just chasing technical records. Every feature, from the high-tech composite wings to the oversized windows and spacious bins, was chosen with the passenger experience in mind, aiming to make flying not just efficient, but enjoyable. 
the MC21 aims to stand out by offering a new level of comfort, not just improved efficiency or lower costs for airlines. It's a bold gamble, betting that a better passenger experience will win over both airlines and travelers in a fiercely competitive market. In a world crowded with similar jets, comfort and passenger satisfaction could be the MC21's secret weapon, setting it apart from the rest. Ultimately, the MC21 is a jet built for people, not just numbers, redefining what passengers can expect from their next flight. The MC21 was originally envisioned as a truly global project, bringing together the best of Russian engineering and advanced technology from around the world. Key parts and systems were sourced from leading Western suppliers, making the aircraft a symbol of international cooperation in aviation. Engines from Pratt & Whitney powered the plane, while sophisticated avionics from Europe controlled its systems. In fact, about 60% of the MC-21's components were foreign-made, including everything from landing gear to cabin electronics. This reliance on global suppliers was seen as a strength, until it suddenly became a vulnerability. After 2022, sweeping Western sanctions cut Russia off from this vital supply chain almost overnight. The flow of parts and technical support stopped, leaving the MC-21 project in jeopardy. Production lines ground to a halt. Aircraft sat unfinished in factories, waiting for parts that would never arrive. The ambitious project was suddenly stalled, its future uncertain. Faced with this crisis, Russia had a stark choice, abandon years of work and investment, or attempt the enormous task of building every critical component domestically. Determined not to let the project die, Russian engineers and factories launched a massive effort to Russify the MC-21. This meant reimagining the aircraft from the ground up, replacing every foreign part with a Russian-made equivalent. Every single component, from the smallest sensor to the most complex avionics, had to be redesigned or sourced from within Russia. This was a monumental engineering challenge, requiring new suppliers, new materials, and new expertise. Engineers scrambled to ready the domestically developed PD-14 engine, create new avionics systems, and even invent advanced materials to match Western standards. The pace was relentless, with teams working around the clock to meet ambitious deadlines. In April 2025, the first fully Russified MC-21 finally took to the skies. Its maiden flight was celebrated as a symbol of resilience and national pride, showing the world that Russia could adapt under pressure, but this pivot came at a cost. The project faced significant delays, higher production expenses, and some performance trade-offs compared to the original design. The road to independence was anything but smooth. The MC-21's transformation stands as a remarkable feat of engineering under immense pressure, a testament to the determination and ingenuity of those involved. Today, the MC-21 is a truly Russian plane, reborn through adversity, but not without significant sacrifice and compromise. The MC-21 story is really about two engines. The original MC-21-300 used the American Pratt & Whitney PW-1000G, efficient and reliable. Sanctions forced a switch to the Russian PD-14 engine for the MC-21-310. The PD-14 is a major achievement for Russian engineering, but it's less durable and needs more maintenance. The new Russian components added about 6 tons to the plane's weight, reducing its range. The MC-21-310 can now fly about 5,100 kilometers, less than the original version. This limits its flexibility, especially for longer routes. The engine swap kept the project alive, but at a cost to performance and efficiency. It's a compromise born of necessity, not choice. The MC-21 faces off against the legendary Boeing 737, a classic versus a newcomer. The 737 is reliable and familiar, with decades of proven service. The MC-21, designed from scratch, offers a wider cabin, bigger windows, and more overhead space. For passengers, the MC-21 is simply more comfortable. But after Russification, the MC-21's range is shorter than the 737 MAX 8's 6,500 kilometers. The 737's global support network and track record give it a big edge. Airlines trust what they know, and the MC-21 is still unproven. While the MC-21 wins on comfort and modern design, the 737 wins on reliability, range, and infrastructure. It's a tough market for any new jet to break into. The MC-21 must prove itself over years of service. Comfort alone isn't enough to dethrone a legend. 
Cost is king for airlines, and here the MC-21 struggles. The switch to Russian parts doubled the engine cost and drove the plane's price to $97 million. That's far more than a Boeing 737 MAX or Airbus A320 Neo, which sell for around $55 million. Airlines want value. And, the MC-21's high price, is a major hurdle. Production is another challenge. Russia aims for 36 planes a year, but progress is slow. Only a handful of PD-14 engines will be built in 2025, far below demand. Meanwhile, Boeing and Airbus churn out over 50 jets a month. Russian airlines face a capacity crunch as old Western planes are retired. The MC-21's promise is limited if it can't be built fast enough. With Western planes off-limits, Aeroflot is betting big on the MC-21. The airline has ordered 18 jets, with plans for nearly 200 more. By 2030, Aeroflot wants half its fleet to be Russian-made, with the MC-21 as its workhorse. This is a dramatic shift from its current reliance on Boeing and Airbus. The MC-21 is set to replace these aging jets as spare parts run out. For Aeroflot, the MC-21 is a lifeline, its only path to a modern fleet. The airline's future now depends on the MC-21's success. If the plane is delayed or underperforms, Aeroflot will struggle to serve Russia's vast territory. The MC-21 is more than a plane, it's critical national infrastructure. Its success or failure will shape Russian aviation for years to come. The MC-21's journey is one of ambition, adaptation, and geopolitical reality. It began as a global contender but became a project of national survival. The MC-21 offers real comfort and innovation, but Russification brought weight, cost, and range penalties. Production is slow, and the domestic market is its only arena. The MC-21 is no longer a global game-changer, but it could redefine Russian aviation. Its fate will decide the future of air travel in Russia. If it can overcome production and reliability hurdles, it will keep Russia's airlines flying. The MC-21 is a symbol of resilience, but also of isolation. It will fly, but whether it can save Russian aviation is still uncertain. The climb ahead is steep, and the stakes couldn't be higher. 